Hello everyone, Oli Techboy is here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a Forge modern Minecraft server on 1.18 on Oracle OS3 and peer server. For the first step, you need to sign up for an Oracle Cloud account which requires a credit or debit card. I already done the sign up process and logged in as you can see. Once logged in, go to VBus, go to Compete, go to Instances. Click Create Instance. Name your instance. I name it Minecraft. Watch server for image. I said click edit for image. Click change image. Click can you go you want to click select image for shape. Click change shape. Select ampere. Select VM standard A1 flex. Drag the number of old CPUs to four and amount of memory to 24. Unfortunately, my Free trial is expired, so I limited to this amount of resources. Click select shape. Save your private key. This is most important for later. Scroll down. You get use intrinsic encryption. Keep it as that. Click create. This will take some time. While waiting, we can save the key. Minimize the browser window. Right click, select new folder, I name it server key, open that folder, go to chrome, press this arrow, click show folder to open the download folder, drag and drop the key, close the download folder, let the server provision, this will take some time, while waiting, we can now convert the key open this search it's called party gen go to conversions go to import key select the key navigate to a directory if necessary click save private key click yes to save the key without a pass place name your key enemy minecraft server key Click save and close party gen. Go back to the Oracle Cloud website. If it's running, you can now go SSH to the server. Go to party. Copy the public IP address for the website. Paste the host name. Control V. Then go to data auto login username is ubuntu then ssh press this button then click odd browse navigate to your key directory where you keep your converted key select your converted key click open you'll get this alert click accept allow it to load once done loading the first step is to install Java. This is the first command, which is to update and upgrade the system. Allow the updates and upgrades to start and complete. Let's enter to dismiss the restart. After which, install Java. The Java version is we are installing is. 18, which is necessary for Forge and the mods to run properly. Press enter after pasting the command. Allow it to run. This will take some time. Once Java installation is complete, we can now go to the port forwarding part of the server. The first step is to port forward at the Oracle site. Go to the virtual cloud network. Click that. Click to the subnet. Go to default security list. Click add ingress rule. Source CDR is 0.0.0.0.0. IP protocol keep it as TCP. Destination port range 25561. Click another ingress rule. Source CDR is 0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. 
you know, you know, it's like, you know, IP protocol is UTP, the session port range is 25565, make sure both of them are correct, click add ingress route. You can now go back to the instance page, go back to party, the next step is to port forward at the server side. The first step is to open the input port for TCP at 25565. Then input for UDP or 25565 for the Minecraft server to work. Then output for TCP 25565. This command. Then this sudo IP tables to open the UDP output port for 25565. The sudo net filler persist safe. To save the port forwarding, then sudo net filter persist reload to reload the filter. Finally, sudo IP table F to flush the IP tables to ensure you get the newest version. Now let's install the server. First, make the Minecraft directory. Second is cd to the minecraft folder which is go to the minecraft folder directory then go to the forge minecraft website to download the minecraft forge installer download recommended click installer wait for five seconds Right click on skip, copy link address. Go back to party, then enter what you get. Right click to paste the link. We just copy, paste, dash o, watch, installer dot jar to download the installer. This will take a while, so be patient. Once you finish the installer, uh, download, run the install. Java jar, forge installer jar, install server. We should install the Minecraft server for forge. Let it do its thing. This will take some time. Once the server installed successfully, you can now remove the installer rm forge installer remover installer.jar we shall remove the installer once done type dash slash run dot sh to run the server for the first time you will get the you need to agree to the eula in order to run the server go to eula for more info to do that nano eula dot txt edit the EU LA to true. Press Ctrl S to save, Ctrl X to exit. Then type screen dot slash run dot sh to run the server. Allow the server to load. This will take some time. Once the server is loaded, and now test using your Minecraft client with Curse Forge. I'll be using my Curse Forge. My mod pad's on. This is a server test with my mod pad on. I'll be testing without installing any mod packs to the server. I'll close the party window now. Click OK and play. This shows why the screen command is important. I'll be copying the IP address while waiting for the Minecraft client to load via Gusforge. I'll be showing how to install the mod packs later and access the file system. Click multiplayer direct connection. I'll be copying the server address here, join server. 
the server works as you can see without the mod packs on the server side. I will close Minecraft client for now. Now let's say you want to install a mod pack. The first thing to do is to stop the server, go to party, redo the filling the information like the IP address, the data, press this plus button, press off the private key file, select your private key file again, then go to session. Now save the session just in case you need it again in the future. I name it as server save. When you need in the future, click load, then click open. Once you manage to access the server, like screen dash ls, then screen x. Highlight this and right click and press enter and you get the Minecraft server back. Type stop to stop the server. This will take some time so be very patient. Now let me show you how to access the file system so you can install the mod pack. Go to search filezilla. Go to file site manager. Let me delete my old site information. Click new site, select SFTP, who is your server IP address, copy the server IP address and paste to the host, what is 22, logon type, key file, user is you find to key file is browse, select the key file you converted, click connect. This will take some time, so please be patient. After that, go to Minecraft, go to mods. Now, copy your mods to the server. I'll be going to my mod directory. Mod, this is the mod I'll be using. Copy the mod file to the mod folder. Once you complete, you can close whatever folders. And also, you can also download your world into the server directory as well but please be sure to delete the old world folder first close fauzilla now we start the server cd minecraft i mean cd minecraft then screen run dot sh make sure this command is used to put to run the server again Once the server is loaded, open CurseForge. Select your mod pack. Make sure the mod pack matches the server. As for my case, it matches the server, has only MacCore furnitures is installed onto the server. Click play to open your Minecraft launcher. You can close CurseForge. Click play to open the launcher. While waiting, you can opt yourself using the server console. I type opt Audi Gamer Boy to opt myself. You can also enable whitelisting on the console if you need to. Then go to multiplayer. Right connection, connect to server again. This time, you should be able to use your mods. Let me change the game mode to creative. Wait. Then open inventory. I can show you the mod pack is working. Let me find the furnitures. I'll need the macro furniture. It's the macro furniture. Is the furniture on the mod pack? 
This is working. No more packs are working. Let me open the desk. The mod packs are working with the Mac Hall furniture pack. You can now close your party window and the server should continue to run. That's all for the video tutorial. I really hope you enjoy my tutorial video. Please like, share, and comment on my video and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you in another tutorial video again.